Hello everyone, and welcome to Full Groom Gaming's episode 19 of the Super Mario 64 Let's Play. And in this episode, since I wound up here at the end of episode 18, I figured I would go ahead and get the 100 coin star here for the 100 or the 80th star, not the 100. And this one's pretty easy. You can hit these uh, piranha plants for five coins each, or a blue coin, which is worth five coins. But to do so, you got to kind of sneak up to them and bop them on the nose. I think I said that before. But yeah, they spit out a blue coin. And even these boxes right here give you a couple. Yeah, three. But all over the level, there's these circles of coins, and there's lines of coins up here. I think I called them lines. Of, they were kind of like lines of crack ones or something. I don't know. Anyway, there's a couple up here. There's another circle I remember over there. If I can get back up here. There we go. Here's a couple. Look, we're already a third of the way there. How long has it been? Like a minute. Alright, there's more here. And there's a blue coin switch down there, but uh, if you shimmy down the fireman puller right here, there's a couple in there. Let me line this up real quick. Uh, good. Oh wait, you don't even have to shimmy down. Pardon me. But I'm going to anyway. Woo! Alright, let me jump off that. And the blue coin should be right here. And there's a box right there, I didn't even realize. But this gives you 20. The box will give you 3. If I remember, yeah. Unless they bounce off the level. Okay, they didn't. But that's already 70. Like, But there's some levels, like, I remember specifically Dire Dire Docks. I mean, that level's crazy with the amount of coins it gives you. Like, 101 or something? 103? Just barely enough. Oop, fell off. Uh, just barely enough to get the 100 coin star. So I'm gonna have a fun time trying to get those uh, 100 coin stars for the ones that are stubborn like that. I guess that was meant to provide a challenge. Ooh, if I'd fallen off there, that would've been bad. Uh, alright. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about right now? Uh, Weedle on Fire is doing a... A, a what's it called? A Lost Silver? Let's play, it's like a Pokemon ROM hack, I think. And that got me kind of interested, and I looked up a... I don't know if you guys know what a creepy pesa or whatever it's called is, but it's basically a uh, scary stories, kind of... You'll have to look it up yourself. But I specifically remember one about Majora's Mask, where the cartridge was haunted and all that. Well, there's a creepy pasta, pasta uh, however you say it. I mean, I've never heard it said, so I don't know. I'm just guess I'm guessing it's creepy pasta. Oh, fell off again. But it's about a, uh, there's one called uh, Pokemon Creepy Black or something like that. And it's about a haunted, somehow, Pokemon cartridge. It's pretty interesting, if you want to check that out. It's a, just a short story about it. Obviously, it's fake, um, but someone actually made, took the time to make a ROM hack uh, about the story, as far as I know. But uh, we're wrapping up the 100 coins here. This will be 91, 2, 3, 6, I think. Yeah, 6. Oh, I could have got 97. Oh, well. But these things right here give you several coins each, as far as I remember correctly. Yes. That should be 100 right there, shouldn't it? Yep, it is. Alright, that'll be star number 80, which is two-thirds of the way. Can you believe we only have 40 stars left? Like, I can't even believe it. Yes, yeah, so I want to save. Alright, let's, uh, exit course. And we will go upstairs. This is only gonna be probably about a 10-minute episode. I'm gonna get, uh, let's see. I'll finish off Tall Tall Mountain and see where we are. Tall Tall Mountain only has two stars left, I think. And they're pretty easy. Uh, breathtaking view from the bridge, I looked up, and I'm pretty- actually, I didn't even look it up, I just kinda- I kinda remember. I'm pretty sure it's the one where you gotta jump in that waterfall. I'll go up there. Actually, I just- there's a shortcut over here, I don't think- I never even knew about it until I started playing it. And actually, to find it, I long jumped into this, uh, mushroom right here, and I went too far. Let me get it just in case. And I jumped to this wind right here, and I didn't never know about that. But while I'm up here, I might as well talk to the... Oop, no, okay, whoo, that was close. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the bomb mom because we'll need him for the next star. Oh, I hate this, man. I can never talk to him. There we go. Yeah, we need that for the blast to the lonely mushroom, I think it's called, star, which is the sixth star. Be getting that in a minute. All right, I wonder if I can get back up there. Get back up there, no. Eh, it's not that long. I'll just jump back down here. Oh, banging heads on walls and everything. Alright. Let's go back up here. 
I guess I put that mushroom there just in case, you know. It's a freebie. Alright. Oh, man. Be careful. That guy can throw you off. I wonder if that... Wait. Oh, man. I wonder if that shy guy can take you all the way over to that mushroom. I'll have to try that out. Um, why did I just come up here? No, I don't, I don't like going this way, so I'm going to go a different way. But I'm going to test this out real quick. Come here, shy guy. I know you're shy, but I'll just jump on you. Wow. Forget it. I'll do that later. No, I don't want to talk to you. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I don't like climbing up that way just because the log is kind of weird. And there's an easier way. You just got to climb up where those moles are over here. What are those, like, sprites that keep falling off? Anyway. Let's go over here. Nope, oh, another ground pound. Alright. Like, I like going up this way right here easier, or more, because you don't have to worry about the log, like I said. And, yep, all you gotta do is a couple simple jumps, and you're pretty much at the top. As far as I remember, all you gotta do... I seem to remember some kind of switch or something with that, uh, that waterfall. I'm trying to remember. I know it's right there. I'm just trying to remember how to get it. It seems like there was a switch that made a block appear and you had to jump on it. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why you wouldn't just be able to jump from the top and get it. I'll try that. Real quick. Let's see. Maybe it's this thing? Let's hit that. I think maybe that does it. I don't even remember. Let me look down real quick. Uh, yep, it does it. Let's see if I can jump to it. Yeah, man, the luck is going pretty good today. Alright, that's 81. Let's go ahead and get 82 real quick. Man, I asked my mom if she went to the store. I asked my mom, I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, chocolate almond milk. But man, that stuff is amazing. I never, I, I don't know, she brought it home one time and I was like, chocolate? I mean, uh, almond milk, what is that? It was pretty good, actually. If you guys haven't had almond milk, I recommend it. I mean, I'm not even lactose or intoler intolerant or anything. It was just, I don't know, it tastes smooth. I don't know, that was really random. But for this, you gotta... This, there's a couple ways of getting to this cannon over here. But I, I know this way works, and it probably won't work. I don't know. But you gotta long jump from this... Dodging those guys. Long jump from this mushroom over to that little sign place over there. And you gotta make sure not to hit your head on that thing. So you gotta kind of short it a little bit. Oh, you gotta go a little bit farther than that. I can tell this is going to be a long star right here, so buckle in and get ready for the ride. And I wish my mom had some of that ac acorn juice. Yeah, that'd be really good. Almond juice. It's not even juice, it's milk. Almond milk. Somehow almond milk got turned into acorn juice. That's disgusting. Oh, oh man, I thought I was going to fly off there. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, there we go. But, um... I don't think I talked about this, uh, if I have, sorry, if I haven't, eh, whatever. But, uh, O'Brien dual commentary, was, a uh, in a dual commentary, part of a dual commentary, there we go, with, uh, Joe on episodes four and five of Conquer, and I really, and they want you to, we, and I want you to, we all want you to, um, go rate those videos, not necessarily a thumbs up, thumbs down, but just what you think about it, and preferably leave a comment on what you thought of O'Brien, and just the whole new commentator situation in general, uh, they would appreciate that. And there's a, by the way, I gotta line this up perfectly with this, uh, oh, that's perfect right there. Alright, now I gotta figure out exactly where I gotta shoot this thing. Alright, let's try, oh, let's try that, go! Yes! Awesome! Alright, I'm running my luck a little thin right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here with 82 stars. I love how I got no stars and that, uh, or no coins. But, uh, that's 82 stars. Uh, I'm gonna end it. Go ahead and please give us your comments on episodes four and four and a half, because they're pretty much part of the same episode, but they got cut off the audio wise in four, so they had to do a half episode. Just watch and you'll see what I mean. But anyway, give a comment and on that video or this video, both of them, whatever you want. All the feedback is appreciated. Uh, thank you for watching episode 19 of Full Grown Gaming Super Mario 64 Let's Play, and tune in for episode 20.